All right, the next step in the build is to actually do all the cable management and plug in all the parts so they actually work. We're going to get down inside the case and kind of show you a few things and how we, we plan laying this out. Um, there's a few different ways we could get started. I think what we're, we want to try and do first is get all of these connections installed. Um, here we got the USB 3.0 slots on the front. We got our audio sound drivers for the front. We want to make sure we get those installed. Uh, we got our USB connection for the front and we got our 1394 connection. So we want to make sure we get these down first so we get these out of the way and then we're going to start on some of the other things. So the first thing we want to do is disconnect all these wires from this little loop up here that they're setting in. And we're actually going to try and run these, these wires down through this hole and back out this hole so that we don't have as much stuff running through here in the end. So we're going to go ahead and stand the case up and get those down through there. back in. I'm going to turn the case around and show you. I'm going to try to organize these the best I can on the back. So that they are nice and tidy. So that looks pretty good there. It stay nice and flush. And then we're going to just make them nice and snug as we get further into this. Let's go ahead and get the case laid back down. And we're going to start getting some of these installed. Now the first one we want to do is our audio driver because it's actually the furthest away. Over here. So we're and the one we want to use for this because we have an HD audio card driver on the board is the HD audio plug. We want to make sure the holes line up. Let's go ahead and look at those. Match those up and go ahead and get it placed down. So that's installed. Now the 
next one along the line here is going to be this 1394 plug. You see it's identified there. And if you look down here on our motherboard, there's a little pin. I'm going to turn it the other way so we can see a little better. It actually says 1394 right on it. You can see that right here, 1394. We just need to take that out and then we'll be able to plug this in. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. Comes out pretty easy. Let's pop that out. And we'll go ahead and get this plugged in. Again, make sure you match up your holes so that you plug it in the right way. And then just get it securely in place. That one's done. Right, the next one in line is just our USB connection for the front. As you can see, there's two lock, two wires here. They've wired both USB connections on the front top of the case to this one. So we just have one plug to plug in. So go ahead and make sure you line up your holes all right. USB slots are one, two, three right here. We just need to select one of those and get this plugged in. I'm going to go all the way over here to this farthest one. And then just get that securely pushed down. Just like that. The next one we have is our USB 3.0 plug that we installed on the front side of the case in the drive bay that we're going to get pushed down. And it's going to go in this slot here, this big wider one. You can see you want to make sure that you get your connection lined up properly. You know the top right pin is gone. Make sure we follow that. The top right is also gone. You want to line it up that way in place and then push it down. Make sure that's in there secure. piece we want to do on this section is actually install the hard drive LED lights, the reset switch, and the power switch. You can see those there. They're really small, having a hard time get, getting the camera to focus here. Let's see if we can get them for you. Okay, so as you can see, those what they say on those, we're going to follow. If you want a more detailed picture of this, look in your uh, motherboard's instruction manual. Um, but the dark color is the positive side, the white color is the negative side. And on this particular motherboard, it has a positive and negative that it identifies. If we could get a close-up down there of it for you. You can see the pins are right down here. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says where, where each of these go and which side's positive. So on the bottom left, we got the hard drive LED. On the bottom right, we have the reset switch. And on the top right, we have the power switch. So we just want to make sure we get these installed with the right connections in the right spot. I'm going to go ahead and do the hard drive LED first. And again, the positive is on the bottom left-hand corner, so that's going to be my colored spot. Just place on the pin, press them down securely. Don't press too hard, these pins are fairly fragile. 
Next one we'll do is our upper side power switch. The positive one is on the inside, so we need to make sure we have this rotated over. And these top right pins, two pins, press that down. And the last one's the reset switch. This one has the power switch or the power connector on the inside again. Make sure the color is facing left and it's on the bottom right two plugs. Get those on and push them down and we have that installed. And that's it for that step of the process. We're ready to move on to the next connections.